My name is Sheng Yu, and today I'm going to present my work, um, Deep D. It's a collaboration work with um, Yu Chu, Xun Chao Hu, and my advisor, Heng Ying, from UC Riverside and Deep Beats. Okay, so um, many, many binary analysis tasks rely on high level features, and usually people use disassemblers like Capstone or Ida Pro or Gija to extract those features such as control flow graph or intermediate representation and use those features um, in various downstream tasks as you can see in these papers. However, as you may have noticed, there's no time critical tasks in this list such as malware detection and that is because disassembling is slow. Here we only focus on x86 instructions and disassembling such instructions are not straightforward. That's one of the main reasons um, why disassembling is slow. There exist three challenges. The first is that code and data may interleave. The second, x86 has dense encoding. And the third, instructions are variable length. Take this three byte sequence, for example, it can be interpreted as data, so these three letters, or it can be code or a mix, and there is no easy way to tell which case is true. Um, many normal approaches has been proposed to tackle this problem. There are papers pub published in various conferences. They use different approaches, such as probabilistic inference, static program analysis, logic inference, and deep learning to improve disassembly accuracy. However, the accuracy comes at a price of low runtime efficiency. As we can see in this table, there's a trade-off between accuracy and efficiency, and this is a problem. Despite the importance of disassembly, we still don't have a disassembler that is both um, fast and accurate to support downstream tasks. And this is especially true when we, um, when we are dealing with malware, which is often obfuscated to evade disassemblers. And to solve this problem, we present a novel deep learning based disassembler, DeepD, which can achieve high accuracy and efficiency at the same time, as well as generalizability and robustness. And here is an overview. So the high level idea is that we first obtain all possible disassembly results. Then we construct a graph using the instructions. And finally, we are going to filter out invalid instructions with the help of graph information and deep learning. So the first is superset disassembly. And superset disassembly is a kind of disassembly approach where you disassemble starting from every single byte. So as an example in this figure, there are nine bytes. So by disassembling from each of them, we obtain nine possible instructions. And superset disassembly comes with a nice feature, which is there's no false negative. We also modified a x86 decoder so that it runs in GPU to fully utilize the GPU parallelism. And besides that, we also convert the instructions to a fixed length vector, and we call it metadata, which keeps the key features, um, such as opcode and registers, but leaves out not so relevant features, such as displacement. And next, we construct a graph called instruction flow graph. And this graph shows possible execution paths. And we add two additional kinds of edges to increase the, express, the e expressiveness of this graph. So for example, here we have nine instructions. And each instruction is a node. And then we connect two nodes via forward edge, say, A to B, if instruction A falls through or jumps to or calls instruction B. 
And we also have backward edge, which is essentially the same as the forward edge, except the source and target nodes are swapped. And finally, we have overlap edge, indicating the two instructions overlap with each other. And that's how we construct the graph. And once we have the graph, we also need to prepare the inputs for the graph, which are the initial values. And to do so, we use RNN to encode every instruction and its two following instructions. And the two extra instructions are used as context. And we do so um, because context matters in disassembly. Take the first instruction, this compare instruction, for example, um, if we only see this instruction, it can be an instruction or we maybe misinterpret data as code. And we can't easily tell which case is true. But if we, if we also consider its next instruction, the conditional jump at address three, it becomes much more credible because that's how the comparer the compare instruction is normally used. And finally, the RNN outputs are used as inputs of this graph model. And we use this graph model, relational graph convolutional network, um, to learn the structured data and to update node information. And after each node propagates its information on the graph, we will use the updated information for classification to tell like, whether each node represents a valid instruction or not. So um, a quick recap. We use superset disassembly to decode and extract the information metadata as the input. The components in the orange box are trainable and they will encode and propagate inputs on the graph and the final output is the likelihood of each instruction being true instruction and our model is trained via supervised uh, training in an end-to-end -end fashion. Okay, and for the evaluation, our training and testing set contains binaries from these four data sets and the binaries are compiled are compiled by various compilers and compilation options. And we compare our approach with these five tools. And they're either popular commercial tools or state-of-the-art academic papers. Um, so first, let's talk about efficiency. Note that the y-axis is log scaled. And from this figure, we can clearly see that our approach is the fastest. And in fact, it's two orders of magnitude faster than the fastest one in baseline. And next, we evaluate our generalizability. Here, the training and testing binaries are compiled by different compilers and different optimization levels. And that's how we make sure um, these binaries are considered unseen to the models. And we compare our approach with another machine learning based state of the art model, the XDA. And, we, and from the table, you can see that we outperform XDA. And there's another generalizability evaluation. So we evaluate the model on 10 unseen real world programs. And as you can see, our result is on par with XDAs. And those two results suggest that our approach has good generalizability. And the third evaluation is against obfuscation. We use a tool that is designed to uh, like confuse linear and recursive disassembly. And this table shows our approach is superior in terms of accuracy and efficiency. And, and it also suggests that our approach is not affected by the increased code complexity. And to show our approach can benefit downstream tasks, we conduct this malware classification by adding high level features to the classifier. And in this example, we use Ember 
the original Ember utilized static features like code histogram and imported function names. And by adding code features, Ember is able to achieve higher accuracy, better generalizability with just slightly increased overhead. Know that this experiment is preliminary. The Ember might not be the best choice for this task. And through this experiment, we mainly want to show that deep bits open possibilities to leverage high-level features for binary analysis tasks, especially for the time-critical ones. And apart from the evaluations in our paper, I'd like to show some projects that we are working on that are based on DeepD. The first one is um, this malware detection. With high-level features extracted by DeepD, we built a machine learning model that can recognize malicious functions in a binary and detect zero-day malware. And this screenshot is our visualization of malicious functions by projecting them into a 3D space. And it can also show the possible origins of the malicious functions. And our second project targets SPOM, or Software Bill of Materials. It's essentially a composition analysis tool, finding what libraries are statically linked in a binary. And like in this figure, we are able to find OpenSSL in curl. Um, and this composition analysis can be helpful in tasks like vulnerability detection, reputation analysis, and so on. And to conclude, we propose a novel deep learning-based disassembler that is super fast. And apart from efficiency, it can also achieve high accuracy and good generalizability resilient to obfuscation and can be used in various downstream tasks. We also have an online version of DeepD at this URL. So um, thank you. Um, you can find our binary re release and this GitHub link. And here is also our demo link. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. And I'm happy to take any questions.